Field spectral radiometers, that can also be used in the lab, have evolved since the 1970s. There are a number of different instruments by different companies, but they mostly work based on the same principles, capturing narrow contiguous spectral bands covering the visible, near-infrared, and or shortwave infrared regions of the electromagnetic spectrum. Today, we are using an ASD FieldSpec 3 portable point spectral radiometer, specifically designed for both field and laboratory use. It allows both radiance and reflectance measurements and is widely used in remote sensing research. To keep illumination conditions stable and influence of different operators minimal, we are following the protocol concept originally proposed by Ben Dorr and colleagues in 2015, using the spectrometer in combination with a custom-built black box setup. Just as in the field, the instrument is controlled via a laptop, and both are set up next to the black box and connected via Wi-Fi or cable. The ASD records optical energy through a fiber optic cable bundle and measures 10 spectra per second in the range 350 to 2,500 nanometers. The general principle is not so different from an imaging spectrometer with optical energy being transmitted to diffraction gratings that separate the light connected to detectors that convert the incident energy, photons, into electrons, and finally, a converter digitizing the electrical voltage and passing the signal to the laptop. The light-sensitive fiber optic cable is carefully introduced into the black box and the sampling head adjusted perpendicular to the sampling surface, or as we say in remote sensing, viewing nadir. Be careful not to bend the cable as broken fiber optics reduce the sensitivity to light. Now you can adjust the height of the sensor head and install a four optic if you want to use one to shrink the field of view to reduce adjacency effects. The light sources that are installed at 45 degree angles to both sides of the sampling surface reduce shadowing. Now, allow the setup some time to warm up. While the field spectrometer in a lab environment can be used for all sorts of material, today we are going to measure soil samples collected from the Spanish Pyrenees. Aren't the colors beautiful? Okay, enough warming up. Let's start measuring. Therefore, we set memory setting as well as four optics and measurement settings. The ASD allows for automatic averaging, and as conditions are usually rather controlled, we recommend a repetition rate of 100 in the laboratory. Now, we can place a white reference panel underneath the sensor head, whereas we make sure the distance is similar to that of the samples we want to measure later. Then, we optimize the instrument by measuring the so-called dark current, that is electric current in the instrument independent of incident photons. Unlike in the field, Conditions in the lab are pretty stable, and there is little need for regular optimization. Now, we collect a white balance over the reference panel. This is the reference for all following measurements that will be stored as the ratio of DN sample to DN reference panel. If everything worked correctly, you should now see a 100% line representing the ratio of DN reference panel to DN reference panel. Despite the stable conditions in the lab, it is recommended to repeat this measurement regularly. If you want to compare your measurements to those taken in another lab, or if you intend to add your data to a spectral library, it might help to include regular measurements of an additional internal soil standard sample that allows for normalization during post-processing, such as in the ISS normalization procedure. And now, we are finally ready to measure a real sample. So we exchange the soil standard for the actual sample, close the door, Wait for the spectral readings to stabilize. Remember, it's an average, and you don't want to include the reflectance of your hands. And simply press the button. Whenever you plan to carry out laboratory-based measurements with a point spectral radiometer, these tips may help you. Use light sources that emit the entire spectrum you want to measure. Make sure your environment is dark, except for the artificial light. There should be no bright, colorful or reflecting surfaces nearby. Keep conditions stable, as subtle differences can affect your measurements. For example, operator, instrument, and even humidity or temperature in your lab. Also, make sure conditions are reproducible in case you need to repeat measurements. Regularly check and possibly repeat white reference measurements. This is also a good indication of changing conditions. If major changes occur, repeat optimization. Depending on the instrument you are using, allow some time for warm-up. 
In the case of the ASD, the detectors heat up at different rates, leading to artifacts in your spectra at insufficient warm-up. If you want to compare your measurements to those from another lab, you might want to measure a standard sample, as the ISS samples. And finally, keep notes. Otherwise, you'll never remember what you've been doing.